Alright guys, now we're in the kitchen here. I have my Entrek USA Badger. Um, just cleaned it up a little bit. Blade's not um, perfect uh, as far as being clean, but whatever's on there is not coming off. It's just wood remnants, you know, from bark and stuff like that, from me being out in the woods and testing it. Um, it's not going to hurt you though. You know, it's not, like I said, if it's, I scrub the blade, if it's not coming off the blade, it's not getting on the food. So really it's not a big deal. And if it does get on the food, you know, who cares? It's a little bit of bark. It's not going to kill you. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a, I guess, uh, appetizer type platter. I got uh, two kinds of sausage here. I have a double cracked black pepper sausage. It's a pork sausage. And I also have a, a nice piece of um, super sada, which is a uh, good spiced, um, you know, I guess seasonal sausage. So I have those, and I also have a little little brick of uh, sharp cheddar left. So I'm just going to cut this up, put it on a plate for you, just to show you this knife uh, in some, you know, doing some kitchen tasks. So here we go. Trying to get nice. You know, nice pieces, not super thick, not super thin. There we go. Put that on the side here on my little plate. Let's do another one. By the way, let me do a nice thin piece. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to cut this paper thin to eat it, but let's see how thin I can really get, get on this sausage. So you guys can see this. I don't know what angle I'm at here, but that is a very thin piece. So there's no no problem here getting uh, nice thin cuts. So let me uh, finish up a couple more cuts. So now, let's move on to this uh, super sada sausage. Again, I want to get some uh, some decent, you know, sized pieces. Just kind of like a finger food, you know, for uh, you know a football game or whatever kind of sport you watch. Just something to kind of lay out. And stick a couple toothpicks in there. Something to pick at. And I like cutting on a slant here. It's just I don't know. Adds a little bit, I guess, more decorative look to it. I've always done that. I don't know why. I guess I watch too much uh, food, food Channel TV. You see how big, you know, this piece of sausage is compared to uh, the blade. Still does a good job slicing it. Those nice long cuts. So there we go. Nice little pile of super sada here. Put a couple on my plate. And put the rest to the side here for a second. Alright guys, now I have my piece of sharp cheddar. Just going to cut a couple, uh, you know, little squares here for you. Again, the cheese is uh, notorious for being hard to cut um, just because it wants to stick to the blade. If you buy a specific knife for cheese, you'll find that they have holes or cutouts in the blade to let air flow so it doesn't want to, you know, stick to the side because it does stick very easily. That's what makes it hard cutting. Plus, it's pretty dense. You see here, makes no problem. Cutting the cheese. I know that sounds funny. Haha, I cut the cheese. <laughs> but there we go. Put some on my plate here. Put the rest off to the side for a later occasion. And there we have it. Nice little uh, dish to put out there with the, um, you know, watching the game. Stick a couple of toothpicks in these. You know, so people can just kind of grab them as they go. And there you go. Perfect little dish. Mmm. Really good sausage, too. So, anyway, there's some cutting. Alright, guys, now on to a little bit more hardcore cutting. Um, first off, I have a, a can here, a uh, Hormel Chili. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It's just representing food in a can, you know, in general. Let's say you go out on that hiking trip or that day trip and you know you bring some canned food, but you know what, you forgot your can opener. Now what do you do? Well if you happen to have a nice thick blade like this, you can open your can with your knife. 
Now, I never suggest it ever because obviously metal on metal is not good. This is where you're going to get your, your chipping and your blade and stuff like that. Um, and this does constitute abuse of your knife. However, I feel confident enough with this knife that I can get this can open without any severe damage to my blade. So, we're going to try that right now. Um, like I said, this is some chili, but it represents food and cans in general. So, here we go. By the way, the knife is wet. I just uh, you know cleaned all the, uh, the sausage and cheese off of it from my recent test. So, what I want to do is just go right by the edge here. Just kind of poke it in a little bit. I'm going to use, you can't see this because it's off film, but I'm using my palm. I'm going to hammer down on this just to pierce into the can. So you can see there. I'm going to do that again right in front of the same cut. Now so far, no damage at all. Okay. So let's keep going. Again, let me be clear here when I say I would normally not do this to any knife. Obviously, you want to use the right tool for the right job. But sometimes you have to improvise. You don't always have that right tool. Sometimes you forget it. Or maybe you lost it. Again, just another really good test of the tip strength on this blade. And we'll do one more. That should give us access to the lid to, uh, to pry it open the rest of the way. All right, now, is this the pry open? And there you go. We have access to our beans. Um, I got the sink next to me, so let me rinse off this uh, the food here on the blade. So we can check out that edge. All right. So I want to get the food off so you guys can examine this. Now, hopefully I'm in frame here, but taking a close look at this blade, there is no damage whatsoever. Um, not only to the edge, but to the tip. That's just uh, awesome. This is something you definitely cannot do with thinner thinner blade stocks and you know I guess weaker knives um, definitely not suggested but you know what if you need to use it in a pinch you can use it with your um, your Entrek Badger and, and you know be secure in knowing that it's not going to damage your knife uh, obviously when you're doing this and you're not actually using a can opener all your edges are very sharp I do want to warn you ahead of time don't you know don't try this at home and then try to rip that can off you get a slice through your hand but there you go you have access to your food of course then you can use whatever other utensils you have to obviously eat it um, let's say you forgot your utensils. I'm not going to show you now, but you can easily carve a, a, a primitive spoon or at least spoon type shaped uh, piece of wood. You know, get the bark off, get it nice and clean, and then use that to actually eat with. But there you go. Opens a can, no damage at all.